yellow jerseys. And in the blacks, that's Northeastern with Northeastern etched in red on the front. It'll be Jeremy Miller and Henson up for the jump ball, tipped to the right side and recovered by the Huskies out of the Colonial Athletic Association, formerly of the America East. It's Northeastern ball to start here at Patrick Jim. Jeremy Miller at the right wing, throws it to TJ Williams with 15 to shoot for Northeastern. A team that averages 75 points per game. Pass down low, Murphy reverse layup, good. And it's two nothing Northeastern, 30 seconds in. Murphy good on the inside, he and Miller both got great size. Anthony Lamb, top of the key, throws it to Ernie Duncan. Jump throw to Lamb, left corner rises for three. In and out, almost went down the cylinder. And a rebound for Northeastern. Bounce pass, Jeremy Miller, right block layup, doesn't go. Henson and Duncan tangle up for the rebound, and the Cats move from left to right. Biggest thing you're watching in this game early on, Coach? Well, the idea that in the first two possessions already, uh, Northeastern has been able to get to the rim very easily. Got to make sure that doesn't happen continuously. Anthony Lamb fouled on the way up from the left block. He will go to the free throw line. The freshman, 6'6", 227 pounds from Rochester, New York. Good to that get him. On, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was on the floor, so it'll be Ernie Duncan to inbound. Good Peyton. sign the Lamb's going on, getting started early. Good yeah. sign. Steidel, top of the key. He rises for a three ball and splashes it through. Kurt Steidel has been struggling recently, but the senior able to connect, and Vermont with its first field goal, three to two, about a minute, 15 seconds in. Very early to talk about it, but they got a nice look about them so far, especially offensively. Layup from Begley doesn't go from the left block, tipped around by Miller and snatched away. Steidel with a great defensive rebound, Vermont in transition. Bell Haynes pulls out, finds Steidel, open three right wing, front rim, and Murphy skies for the rebound for Northeaster. That's a great shot for Steidel, he'll take that all day. We'll, we'll, let him, we'll let him have that because he's gonna make a lot of those. Layup from TJ Williams doesn't go, offensive rebound for Jeremy Miller, the 6'10 forward. Remember, Northeastern, had to replace three guys last year that averaged 10 or more points per game. TJ Williams is their star, averaging 22.4 points per game. He's got it on the left wing with 15 to shoot, two minutes in, 3-2 Vermont over Northeastern. Williams guarded by Henson, near baseline, eight on the shot clock. Murphy overhand pass left wing for Williams, four on the shot clock, jump shot from Williams is a front rim, rebound for Vermont. Good defensive sequence there. Very good, very good. And, and the big guys, both big guys were checking Williams to make sure he couldn't get to the hoop. Henson left wing, hands it off Ernie Duncan, top of the circle, jump throw left corner. Henson rises a three ball front rim and a rebound comes down to Devon Begley, 6'4 junior from Pearland, Texas. Huskies and Vermont battling for the 71st time all time between these two teams. A 3-2 lead for Vermont early approaching Three minutes gone by in the first. 15 to shoot for Northeastern. Coached by Bill Cohn in his 10th season. Lob down low, swatted away by Steinle. Great He's team. good on the defensive end for Vermont. And Trey Bell Haynes will slow the pace. Coming off a fine 19 point performance in the win over Dartmouth. That's a season high for the junior guard. The feeling is that our guards can get what they want here, according to the scouting report in practice yesterday, uh, and a great pass. Henson's layup, though, blocked by Jeremy Miller, 6'10", Miller, and Henson just 6'8". Here's Williams, slashes down left, Dally goes up in an offensive foul call. Trey Bell Haynes sacrificing the body there. Great play, and of course, uh, being that it's Williams, it's even a little bit more important. Love to get him sitting down for a while. <laughs> TJ Williams, 14th in the country, coming in and scoring 22.4 points per game. We are nearly four minutes gone by in the first half, 3-2 Vermont on top of Northeastern. And these two teams struggling to shoot the ball so far, both one for five from the floor. Henson top of the key, throws to Duncan, unleashes a three ball, front ram, Miller tips it out of bounds, but they're gonna say it's poked off of Lamb, so it's Husky basketball. And both teams shooting poorly, uh, Sam, as you mentioned, but. Uh, Vermont is getting really good looks. So, you know, percentages are what they are. At the end of the game, you keep getting those shots, you're going to make a lot of them. So uh, I would not be uh, at all, I am not at all upset about where we are now because uh, we just have had good shots and not made them. Northeastern with possession. Williams has it pinball off his kneecap, far side out of bounds. Last touch by Northeastern. And so you, it is Vermont ball. You know what, man? I don't want to jinx anybody in here. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. But a lot of times real good players come in here and don't play real good. 
and I'm hoping <laughs> Williams has just charged and knocked it off his knee, so I'm hoping maybe he'll fit into that category. I guess that's not very uh, humane. But, uh. <laughs> well, this is the first time since 2011 Northeastern's coming to Burlington. Henson left wing extended, picks up his dribble, lobs it over to Kurt Steidel far side. Four minutes gone by, 3-2 Vermont on top of Northeastern. Henson drives in the lane and down. Peyton Henson, absolute rim rocker, and it's 5-2 Vermont leads. Great play by Henson. D discarded the three and went to the rack. Top of the key, Jeremy Miller throws it left wing for Sean Osius. Now here's Williams, dashes down the lane, little floater yeah. up and good with the left hand. Spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. <laughs> so now it's a one point lead for the Catamounts. Five to four is TJ Williams on the board with his first field goal, averaging a little over 22 points per game. Duncan, head fix at three right wing, 15 foot jumper near side, short off the back iron. Murphy has it go in his pocket and Northeastern with possession. The Huskies, known for a big NCAA tournament berth a couple of years ago. Here's Murphy, who knocks down a triple from the left wing. Alex Murphy, the transfer from Duke and Florida, gives the Huskies a 7-5 lead, five minutes in. Trey Bell hands top of the key, throws bounce feed. Lamb right block, lobs it left wing. Steidel, he triggers a three ball and parries it. Kurt Steidel with two triples early. Vermont leads, it's seven. Finding his way, he's finding his way, Sam. That's good for us. Because he can really stroke it when he's got it going. A guy coming in, shooting just 29% from downtown. I know, But I know. he's looking good with two of three gone down. Three point try for Miller, front rim. The rebound for Vermont, Ernie Duncan. Pedals forward. Give Miller that shot all day. We, we, we pray he takes that. Great play by Lamb. Lamb layup good from the left block. The freshman gets the pass from Ernie Duncan, and the Catamounts with a 10 to 7 advantage nearly six minutes in. Miller took a long three, then got beat down the court. You know, it can't happen because Lamb was running so hard, he got a layup. It's good basketball. Alex Murphy throws top of the key. Jeremy Miller. Now TJ Williams, guarded by Henson. Murphy, left wing, lobs down low, left block. Miller matched up with Anthony Lamb. Good matchup. Hook shot doesn't go with the right hand. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Northeastern. It's Vermont ball when we come back. We are I'm, we being Vermont, and uh, and I think we really have to do a good job early in the possession because uh, their big guys are very big, 6'10 and 6'11. Couple of fresh bodies into the game. Cam Ward, Josh Hurley, he and Dre Wills. Hurley, a transfer from Tulane, has it top of the key. Now Cam Ward slashes top of the circle, throws to Hurley, he far side. Vermont slows the pace around the perimeter. Dre Wills with his first touch. Free throw line bounces top of the key. Eight to shoot for Vermont. Six to shoot. Henson rises three straight away. And the red shirt junior knocks it home. Transfer from Tulane. 13-7 Vermont. Great ball movement again. Great patience. Great look. 13-17 to go in the first half. Northeastern, a team again mentioned earlier, as a layup is good from the right block from Alex Murphy. The graduate student, 23 years of age, transfer from Duke and Florida. And a Northeastern team that has got to replace three guys from a season ago that averaged 10 or more points per game. Vermont with a 13-9 lead, 12.53 to go in the first. Cam Ward left wing, pick left from Josh Hurley. Ward spins and finds Wills. Free throw line inside the key, double clutch layups, short. And rebound for TJ Williams. Northeastern to push the tempo. Right wing three from Begley, back iron. Ball soars up in the end of the free throw line. Miller gets the rebound and he's hacked on the way up. But they do call an offensive foul. Well, that was a very, very bad shot by Begley. And when you get a team to take a shot like that, you certainly don't want to give them another one. Uh, but with a long rebound, anything can happen. They did get it back, but then Miller knocked somebody over. And uh, great defensive positioning by the Cats. So a 13 to nine lead for Vermont. With 12.31 to go in the first half, Northeastern, a program that's been to the NCAA tournament eight times. Their last was in the 2014-2015 campaign as a 14 seed nearly upsetting Notre Dame. And now they've got to rebuild a little bit with three guys from a season ago only averaging 10 points per game. Got to replace that. Henson, left block, backing down. Murphy goes up, layup, no good. Payne with the offensive rebound, his shot no good. And a rebound for Miller. He's been doing great stuff on the boards for Northeastern. Easy uh, look. Easy look for uh, Peyton. He just didn't get it to go. 
13-9 lead for Vermont. Eight minutes gone by. Northeaster with possession and a whistle of foul on the floor against Cam Ward. Trying to pick his way through to get to Miller. Floor and you need it, they got it, and they're able to locate it on Pine Street and Burlington. Six to four in that department advantage, Northeastern. As the inbounds pass goes to TJ Williams, left wing. The battle down low so far as Williams down the right alley. Layup is good, but he travels. It'll be Vermont ball. What do you make of the interior play from well, both teams? Uh, well, I'm very impressed with uh, Miller. He's got five. We only got five rebounds. He's got five himself. They've gotten two or three layups on nice cuts. But when we, they posted us, tried to post us, we've done a good job defensively. A 13-9 lead for Vermont. 11.48 to go in this first half from Patrick Jim. First time Northeastern's come to Burlington since 2011. Darren Payne sets a screen top of the circle. Ward, left elbow, throws Lamb top of the key. He'll hand off for Dre Wills, the senior. 11.34 to go, first half, 13-9. Vermont leads Northeastern. Wills catches the pass, right block. Bouncer left corner. Steidel, a three ball, connects. Kurt Steidel, his third three ball. 16-9 Vermont, nearly nine minutes gone by. On a wonderful pass from Wills. Ball tipped out of bounds, last touched by the Huskies. Vermont ball underneath. Steidel, we were talking about him earlier today, Coach. This guy is, when he's hot, he really is dangerous. And he, you know what, and, and he started so slowly, you know, and he's such a good kid, and he cares so much, and he's a ferocious rebounder for his size, and so it's really good to see him getting off here because he, it, uh, they, and you know what, every one he shoots looks like he's going in, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nine points to lead all score as a candidate for our Morgan Stanley player of the game. 16-9 lead, Vermont land down right alley, Urquhart, in the right corner, throws to Wills. Free throw line, he'll skip in the lane, find Steidel. Far baseline, 10 to shoot for Vermont, leading 16 to nine. Six on the shot clock. Ward, free throw line, behind the back dribble, stutter steps, double clutch shot from five feet away, doesn't go. And a rebound comes down to Anthony Green, 6'10 center, 250 pounds. Northeastern does have some bodies. Here's a three from the far side, doesn't go from Bolden. Brace and a rebound for Steidel. There's a lot of size Northeastern up front. They sure are. You know, so they're very, it's a big team, and their guards are big. 16-9, Vermont with the advantage. Urquhart, right block layup, strong, and a foul on the floor. That's a great, great feed, and, uh, and Urquhart just kind of got himself in too much of a hurry. The foul goes against Drew Urquhart, his first and the second, te second team foul. A 16-9 lead for the Catamounts, 10-26 to go first half. And as I've said from the jump, man, if we keep getting shots like we're getting, we're going to be fine. But we got, you know, obviously got to make them at some point. But you keep getting easy shots, the percentage say you're going to make them. Catamounts four of eight from downtown, 50 percent after against Dartmouth, not making a three-pointer in the first half. O of seven. Far corner attempt for three from Osius doesn't go. Henson tangled up on the right wing for the rebound. Ball's loose. Skids out of bounds and a last touch by Northeaster. Great hustle. Always good when you see three guys on the ground. That always makes you happy as a coach. Is that what you remember from back in the day with these two teams going at it? Oh, yeah. I sure do. I sure do. I do. You know what? When I saw those uniforms, I got nervous. Honest <laughs> to God. <laughs> you felt like you needed to be out there at some point. 16 to 9, Vermont with the advantage. Halfway through the first half from Patrick Jim. Great crowd on hand on this Saturday afternoon. Ernie Duncan, top of the key. Richard, sophomore, hands to Urquhart, left elbow. From British Columbia, Vancouver to be exact. 13 on the shot clock. Duncan picks up his dribble. Triple threat position finds Ward around midcourt. Seven to shoot. Again, the Catamounts working the shot clock all the way down. Three on the shot clock. Pass to Wills as the shot clock expires. He lays it in from the right block. Trey Wills' his first field goal, and the Catamounts have their largest lead, 18 to 9. Cam Ward was double teamed, very patient, looked through it, got Ward, uh, got Trey for a layup. Backdoor feed looking for Sean Osius, tipped away, Vermont possession. Ernie Duncan gallops across midcourt, 9.16 to go first half, 18 to nine. Vermont leads Northeastern. Ward, top of the key, slashes right alley. Back pedals, fade away, 15 foot jump shot, air borne off the back iron. As Ward nearly came up with a steal there. Here's T.J. Williams. He hasn't gotten to the free throw line yet. Vermont doing a good job. As T.J. Williams enters as the team's leading score. Tangled up. Throws the ball in the corner. Left elbow for three. And it's good from OCS. That was a left corner, excuse me. And it's now a six-point lead for Vermont, 18-12. to 12. 
It, it appears that Northeastern is going to take a lot of threes as part of their game. Cam Ward, right wing extended. Bouncer to Dre Wills, left wing, guarded by TJ Williams. Wills, free throw line, spins, rotates, finds Duncan, right corner. Jump throw to Urquhart, head fakes from the baseline, drives, layup, air ball. Some contact. Oh. And the save by Northeaster goes out of bounds off Urquhart's foot. Sub. Last touch. Is that, the, is that the word you would use? Sub contact? <laughs> he killed him. <laughs> <laughs> These guys going at it man, early in this oh first man. half. I can't believe that wasn't a foul. 18 to 12, Vermont on top of Northeastern. My first wine of the day. <laughs> <laughs> first of many. <laughs> 8 17 to go in the first half. TJ Williams. Top of the key, throws it to Begley. Williams just with two points in this game. He averages a little over 22. Bounce feed Miller, right block. Coming up on eight minutes to go in the first half. Layup from Begley doesn't go. Miller, the offensive rebound, and it's lost. Kind of just batted away. Wills drives down the right alley in transition, and he'll be fouled going to the free throw line when we come back. Himself, but uh, as our wonderful stat man, Benny McCormick, points out, we have nine assists, or six assists, off of nine turnovers for uh, Northeastern. Hence, the six-point advantage for Vermont as Dre Wills misses the front end of the two-shot foul. Catamounts made a season-high 22 free throws in their victory over Dartmouth on Wednesday. And interestingly enough, in, uh, all, as far along as we are, no free throw attempts for Northeastern. Second free throw is good for Dre Wills. 19 to 12 advantage. Cats less than eight to play till intermission. Begley left wing extended. Bounce feed Miller far corner. As Northeastern, a program out of the Colonial Athletic Association. Williams slashes down the center lane and a finger roll up and good. TJ Williams, his second bucket, four points, 19 to 14. Catamounts lead, 730 left in the first. Tough to keep him in front of you, that's for sure. He's a very talented kid. Anthony Lamb, left wing, matched up with Jeremy Miller. Now Trey Bellahanes coming off a season high, 19 points. Floater in the center lane, five feet away, no good. Rebound, Miller, his seventh board. And Northeastern pushes the tempo from right to left. TJ Williams, wraparound bounce feed. Good hands from Lamb, stepping in front of the pass. Boy, I don't know, I don't know. They do call a foul though, looks oh. like. That's Lamb's first. He didn't have the hand up there. Uh, Coach Becker is not happy, and he's got a beef. There's no doubt about it, man. That was very good defense. Just the third team foul, though, for Vermont. 19 to 14 lead for the Catamount. 7.07 to go in the first. Murphy, top of the circle, the 6'8 graduate student, 23 years of age. Here's Williams, left block, spins on Bell Haynes. Left block layup is good. And T.J. Williams quickly with back-to-back -back buckets for Northeastern. It's just a three-point lead for Vermont. 19-16, less than seven to play till intermission. Bell Haynes, top of the key. Bounces Peyton Henson, left wing. Team's leading scorer coming in with 13 a game. Pounds the rock once, and a travel called on the redshirt junior. Well, we need to stop here. You know, it's gotten away from us a little bit. And, you know, it's amazing. It's 1912, you, you're making plans for dinner. You know, where are we going? The next thing you know, 1916, they got the ball to the game again. So that's how they got to play the full 40. That's the one thing you learn. 19 to 16, as you said, just a three point lead for Vermont to make a four nothing run. They tacked on. Williams, top of the key, jump throw, right wing for Jimmy Marshall into the game for the first time. Here's Murphy layup. Finger rolled up and good from inside the key. And Alex Murphy scores. He's got a team high nine points, and it's a one-point lead for the Catamounts, 19-18, with 6-11 to go in the first. Trey Bell Haynes is called for a push-off. Actually goes against Kurt Steidel off the ball, his first in the fourth team foul. So just a one-point advantage for Vermont is 6 Oh, eight to go in this first half. You know, when, when both teams are close in terms of uh, ability, uh, you know, there's going to be little times when you just phase out, and uh, that's what has happened now. We need to get it together, play better defense, and, uh, and, and things will take care of themselves. T.J. Williams, right wing, less than six to play till halftime, one-point lead for Vermont, 19-18. Murphy triggers a three, right corner, front rim, 
Ball evaporates up in the air for Steidel, the rebound, and Vermont with possession. Bell Haynes, top of the key, looking for his first field goal. Throws right wing, dunk it. Josh Hurley, top of the key, transfer from Tulane. Flips it to Bell Haynes. Hurley, 15 foot jump shot, far side rattles home. Josh Hurley, the transfer from Tulane, his first field goal today, 21-18 Vermont leads. Another nice pickup for Vermont. Very, uh, very tough, strong kid, about 6'9", and uh, he's a good basketball player. Down the right alley, Williams goes, and he's called for a push off. This senior beside himself after that call, but a little elbow contact, and that's TJ Williams' second foul. A 21-18 lead for Vermont, 5-14 to go in the first. Wonderful break for us. That was a wonderful break. That wasn't, I don't think he fouled anybody there, but he's with the bad guy, so we'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> the two transfers from Tulane in the game on the same floor, Henson and Hurley. Bell Haynes, bounce pass, good look to Henson. Left block layup is good. A lightning bolt of a pass from Bell Haynes. The only one offensive rebound, which is, you know, really what you hope to, where you hope to steal some baskets along, somewhere along the way when you get them. But, um, but Northeastern is so big, Sam. Man, there, those inside guys are really big. Couple and they're of, talented. Couple of six ten players on the roster, including Jerry Miller, who's matched up with Henson around the free throw line. Comes up to set a screen. Now fades back. Be interesting to see if Hurley he can uh, can guard Murphy. Williams, top of the key, seven on the shot clock, wraparound bounce, being a whistle on the floor. The foul goes against Josh Hurley, he, his first, and the team's fifth. So still not a one and one opportunity for Northeastern, who, oh, by the way, still hasn't attempted a free throw in this game. Very interesting. Led by one of the best free throw shooters, or the best at getting to the free throw line, and TJ Williams. Begley slashes down the lane, handoff to M Murphy, his right block layup doesn't go, and a foul. I think that went under the basket, up. Yeah, it looked up, like the, yeah, yeah, the netting was, got ripped a little bit. It's kind of. And it's, it's a great break for us because he got it back and he would have put it right in. So, uh, so anyway, uh, but it did go through the hoop uh, the wrong way. So it's Catamount basketball, 23-18. Vermont leads 4-21 to go in the first. Bell Haynes, nice spin move on Williams. Oh. Left block layup, good. Oh. Trey Bell Haynes, preseason first team America East member, gives Vermont a lead, 25-18. Seven point advantage and a whistle on the floor the other end. Uh, it's a tough, tough foul on Steidel. That's his second. Now they're probably gonna have to take him out. Four to, four to go in the half, but uh, shame he's really been playing very well. Nine points for the senior, Kurt Steidel, all from downtown, but he will come out of this game and be replaced by another senior, Dre Wills, with 4.10 to go in the first, 25-18. Catamounts with the advantage over Northeastern. Murphy, left corner, guarded by Hurley. Ball screen from Miller, he'll go back to the post. Good defense from Josh, bounce feed Miller. Far baseline, up top for TJ Williams with six points, the team's leading score. Around the perimeter, Begley a three right wing, doesn't go off the back iron, rebound Hurley. Josh Hurley playing some extra minutes in this game. Only averages around 9.8 minutes a game. He's up around six right now in this first half. You know, we have so many guys that depending on the matchups and who we're playing, uh, that's how we determine who plays really, especially up front. Hurley left wing. Discards top of the key for Henson and a travel called on Peyton Henson. That's the second time he's taken a little bit.
Oh, Borsica. Hurley, he catches inbounds pass left wing. Henson, right elbow. To Duncan, top of the circle, throws Hurley. He unleashes a three and hits. Josh Hurley off the bench. He's got five points to match his career high. And with 2.30, yeah, with 2.30 to go in the first, it's a 10-point lead, largest for the Cats. And a travel called on the other end on Sean Osius. That is turnover number 11 for Northeastern. Great, great two-minute stretch there by the Catamounts. Uh, goes from 1 to 10 just like that, and, uh, and with a chance to even make it 12 or 13. It was... 19 to 18, it seems like seconds ago, but Vermont is up the ante with a 28 to 18 advantage. Bell Haynes sprints down the left alley with contact, layup is good. And one more. Trey Bell Haynes, extremely electric here in the building. We talked earlier about how we felt our guards could get around the corner, get to the basket and make things happen, and he has certainly done that. A 12-point lead for Vermont, and Trey Bell Haynes with four points will head to the free throw line. Coming in, Bell Haynes shooting 72% from the line. Now, very, very two minutes, uh, important two minutes and 16 seconds. Very important. And one free throw is good. 31 to 18, Vermont with the advantage over Northeastern. 2.13 to go in this first half. Begley, left wing extended, guarded by Josh Hurley. Begley slashes down left alley, overhand pass, top of the key, T.J. Williams with six points for the team's leading scorer coming in. Henson nearly creates a steal, top of the key. Right wing for Jimmy Marshall. He slashes down the center lane, lost possession as he charges through and an offensive foul's called. What a job Hurley's doing today, huh? Unbelievable, man. He's been great, just been great. He's only averaging 9.8 minutes a game, Coach, and when you see a guy come off the bench, maybe thinking of some of your former players, how encouraging is it to see a guy maybe step up that doesn't average as many minutes as the others? Oh, very encouraging, and then, uh, and then you're sitting there thinking, why don't he play more? 31-18, <laughs> Vermont with the lead, 1.45 to go in the first. Bell Haynes, left wing, crossover dribble, picks it up, throws top of the key, Hurley, head fakes, the lefty starts to pass right wing to Dre Wills. 1.30 to go in the first half. Wills, left elbow, bounces to Duncan, and it's lost off of his fingertip, but they're actually going to say it went off of Northeastern, and it looks like the officials discussing the call. In the deep corner, I couldn't quite see it, but uh, uh, obviously the right call. They say it is Vermont basketball. There you go. A minute, 26 seconds left, first half, 31 to 18, Cats Lee. Duncan off a curl, catches inbounds, pass, triggers a three, a contested one, front rim, rebound, Begley. Hail Mary pass ahead for the Huskies. Williams curls around the lane, and he's whistled for traveling. Tremendous defense by the bigs for the Catamounts. The uh, 13th turnover, this Catamount team doing a great job defensively. I mean, think about it, 18 points in the half. I mean, they may get a few more, but 18 points for uh, for a very good uh, high scoring Yeah, game. and we, th we talked about it earlier, this Northeastern team averaging 75 points per game, and I did my research for you the last five years in Patrick Jim, an opponent has only scored 75 points or more five times in the last five years in this gym. And the Huskies only with 18 so far as we close in on this first half. Bell Haynes throws nice. to Henson, backdoor free looking for Hurley, and he's fouled on the way up it looks like, but they're actually gonna say it's an offensive oh! foul. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. The crowd cannot believe it. And that's Hurley, he's second, oh. and his seventh team foul. That's a tough call. Tough call. Anthony Lamb comes into the game, and Josh Hurley will get a big applause from the crowd. Did a great job. Did a wonderful job for them. Very productive in the first half. One minute remaining. 31-18. Vermont leads. Big stop here. Big, big position. Really uh, keep things right where they are. Don't give them and the least bit of momentum. 
Northeastern with possession, 47 seconds left first half. Begley free throw line throws to Williams, tipped away by Trey Wills. Those are the little things, Coach, where Trey Wills just got a little paw out there just and the prevented same it. Thing, Sam. Great hustle. You, he could have just sashayed out there and knew the guy was going to catch it, but he didn't. He, he played tremendous with tremendous heart and uh, just messed things up enough. Ten on the shot clock, 41 seconds game clock. Williams, right wing on Wills, contested jump throw in the baseline, tipped away by Anthony Lamb. Tremendous defense by the Cats. What a last five minutes defensively. Uh, and to go into the, the league with, uh, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten wins, uh, that's very impressive because uh, the Cats play a tremendous schedule. They've had a lot of road games, as you know. And uh, so, and you know what? This is a good time to be playing Northeastern. It's their fourth road game in a row, and they go to Michigan State right after us. So this is a perfect yeah. time to be playing them. 16 seconds left in the first half, 31-18 Vermont with the advantage. 10 seconds left in this first half. Six on the shot clock, Bell Haynes. Floater in the lane, tipped around, five on the game clock. Out to Duncan, three is back to iron. And that is the end of the first half. Northeastern turns the ball over. To hold the team of this caliber at 18 points, uh, very impressive. Now that's not to say uh, Mr. Williams don't have 16 hiding in there somewhere because <laughs> he gets 22 a game, but uh, Murphy as well and Miller. So still got to maintain and keep doing what we're doing. We are back underway. Northeastern with possession to start 10 seconds in. 31-18 Vermont with the advantage. Catamounts looking to get to 8-3 for the first time since the 2010-2011 season. Feed down low, right block layup. Good from Alex Murphy. The graduated student is the first player in double figures from either side. He's got 11, and the lead dice down to 11. And you know what? There's nothing more redundant than the first five minutes of the second half are so important, but it's redundant, but it's true. Poked away at the left block from Murphy, and Henson going at it. An 11-point lead for Vermont. They ended the first half on a 12-0 run. It was 19-18 to with about five minutes to go in the first half, and Vermont ballooned the lead. Steinel double-team out to Lamb. Left wing unleashes a three-ball in and out. Murphy skies for the rebound. The Huskies have dominated the rebounding department. Their 19th board to Vermont's just 11. Murphy, top of the key. Throws it left wing for Sean Osius. Here's Williams, free throw line. Motors ahead, left alley. 13 to shoot for the Huskies. 31-20 Vermont leads a minute in to the second half. Begley finds Miller, point blank range layup is good. Just a mistake. Uh, Anthony Lamb fell asleep, didn't even know where the ball was and ended up over his head in the basket. Anthony Lamb, top of the key, two points in the first half. Hands off Duncan, pick and roll. Lamb inside the free throw line, finds Henson far side. 17 to shoot, Henson spins on Miller, goes up and he's whistled for a foul. The led to the free throw line. Good patience by Vermont, wonderful pass by Lamb. Uh, it's important to get some points quickly. Get it going, get back uh, right where you pick up, right where you left off, and that's why these two free throws are so important. 31-22 lead for Vermont. About a minute, 30 seconds gone by in the second half. Henson at the free throw line. And we've watched him for 20 minutes now. We're not fooled, you know that. Uh, this is a good basketball team that Vermont's playing today. Northeastern, a, a team that made the NCAA tournament a couple of years ago. TJ Williams, who's on the roster right now for the Huskies, was on that team that made it to the NCAA tournament, nearly took down Notre Dame, lost by a couple games. I remember that game. Yes, sir. And you, all, you, you remember a lot of upsets, especially <laughs> one particular from the Cats in 2005. By the way, are people paying you to be a legend? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Because other than my family, I don't hear much. <laughs> <laughs> two, two free throws are good for Henson. 33-22 Vermont leads. And a foul on the floor. But going back to that 05 season that catapulted you guys into the NCAA tournament when you were coaching, you had to beat Northeastern. Yeah, we did. And, and the American East tournament and handled them pretty well, yeah. holding the Huskies to just 57 points. Yeah, so do you, does this kind of remind you of that game, maybe? Uh, no. No, not as much. No, not at all. 33-22 <laughs> <laughs> lead for Vermont, but that changes with a free throw line jumper from T.J. Williams. It's 33-24. Vermont still with the lead, but the Huskies with five 
Six points so far in this second half. Two minutes gone by in the second frame. Bell Hanks, left block layup is good as he slithers his way through. He is hard to guard, that young man, hard to guard. Seven points for Trey Bell Hanks, 35-24 Vermont leads. Two minutes, 10 seconds wiped off in the second frame. Murphy, left elbow, matched up with Henson, drives down. His layup is good off the window. Alex Murphy leads all scorers with 13 points. The lead trimmed in nine, 35-26. He's a good player, that kid. We got a hard, we got to really work hard to try to stop him, but we're not going to stop him completely because he's just too good. Lob inside the key, Lamb, and he's stopped for a foul. Great pass by Trey Bell Haynes to give us an attempt at an easy layup. They fouled him on the ground, but uh, again, we talked earlier, Sam. You want to get easy looks. You get enough of them, you're going to make enough of them. Inbound underneath the hoop, Duncan throws to Steinel, right block, double teamed. Finds his way outside traffic, extra pass. Henson a three from the corner front rim. Tipped out though and saved by Stottle. The offensive board for Vermont leaves for a lamb three straight away. Back iron, offensive rebound again, another try. And a blocking foul on the way up for Trey Bell Haynes. He'll shoot a pair. Great effort by the Cats, two offensive rebounds. The first one a real tough physical one. And, uh, and now you either go to the line or you get or you get the ball back either way. It's a tremendous advantage. Instead of them going the other way, you got the ball, the lead, and uh, we're going to take it out of bounds underneath. So it was called on the floor. So Ernie Duncan to inbound. 35-26 Vermont leads. Nearly three minutes wiped off in the second. Lamb catches right corner. Back to Duncan. Circles around top of the key. Slithers down the left alley. Good pass, but tipped away. Looking for Lamb. Northeastern with possession, Murphy in transition. Bounce feed swatted away off this shot. Coming from Osius Lamb with a rejection. Vermont the other way, and a layup fit from Bell Haynes. Beautiful pass by Henson. Beautiful work by Lamb to get it started. And a run out by the Cats. Tremendous, tremendous enthusiasm on the defensive end, and it's good to see. And for Anthony Lamb, his first block of the game. That's his 10th on the season, second among all America East players coming into this game. Williams a three from the right wing, short, tipped around and a foul on the floor. You know what happened there, Sam? The uh, Northeastern came out and hit us right in the nose, went out 6-2, and our boys just settled down and did what they had to do, played real good defense, and uh, got a couple of real good looks at the basket, a couple of key offensive rebounds, and the next thing you know, we are kind of got it where we want it again now. Bell Haynes with the ball, left wing, bounce feet, top of the key, Henson, laser pass, left block, Lamb, reverse layup, doesn't go. Rebound for the Huskies in Maxime Borsica. Northeaster with possession, Cats lead 37-26 and a foul on the floor. Team to play Michigan State, it doesn't get any easier. And then Oakland after that, it was a team that not many people know about, that's a very, very good team. Bounce pass right block, Williams muscles his way up and hits. TJ Williams with eight points now, 10 total in the game. Averages a little over 22 a contest and a timeout taken by Vermont coach. But Sam, as we know, basketball is a game of runs, especially college basketball. And they came out and, and made, made some shots and, and are looking real good. And we were able to slow them down a little bit and get some ourselves. But uh, you know, you got when they're having a run, you got to stop them. When you're on one, you got to keep going. That's the, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty simple. Northeastern leading the second half on a 10 6 run to start. Nine on the shot clock. Duncan, right wing. Comes down low. Right block. Lamb. Spin move. Goes up and muscles his way through for two. Anthony Lamb, the freshman, his second field goal. Cats lead by 11 39 at 28. He might be a lamb, but he ain't a baby lamb. Do they call something <laughs> different baby lambs than regular lambs? No? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you put me on the spot. <laughs> Benny, you got that? Okay, so. Thank you. 
28 lead for Vermont, nearly five minutes gone by in the second half. Alongside Tom Brennan, I'm Sam Hyman, so happy to have you along with me. And us from the handy Toyota broadcast booth as Maxime Borsico hits the free throw, the second attempt, and it's a 10-point lead for Vermont currently. First free throw in 25 minutes for the Huskies. Yeah, pretty crazy to say that for a team and a player, specifically in TJ Williams, who has made the fourth most free throw attempts in the country, Bell Haynes throws corner for Wills. The free throw line pivots, bounce pass, Urquhart. Right block, spins, lifts nice. it to Wills. His shot is just in and out. Right underneath the hoop with one on the shot clock. Will go to the line for a couple. How far down does it have to go before <laughs> it stays, Sam? Huh? God almighty, that was right in the middle of the net. Pop back out. Well, it seemed as though there was a cover on the cylinder for Northeastern in that first half. Only 18 points. This one just rattled out. Hit the cylinder a couple of times. Trey Wills at the free throw line. The senior from Indianapolis misses the front end of the two-shot foul. That's why it was important that that would have stayed down. <laughs> <laughs> then, he, then he could only have had one miss. Now. <laughs> now he's got a chance for two. Trey Wills, the senior, played 14 minutes last time out against Dartmouth. And misses the second one as well. So it remains a 10-point lead, 39-29. 14-38 to go in the game. Northeastern, a team that averages 75 points a game, just with 29 Almost midway through the second half. Murphy bangs down low with Urquhart, goes up and flushes it down. Little bunny hook from Alex Murphy. A team high and game high, 15 points for the graduate student. The lead cut down to just 8, 39, 31. He's a fine player, that kid, really good. Transferred from Duke and Florida to get to Northeastern. He was granted a sixth year. Henson, left wing, shimmies and travels. Peyton Henson, third traveling called on him today. Kurt Steinl summoned back into the game. A 39-31 lead for Vermont. Six minutes gone by in this second frame. Vermont trying to get to 8-3 for the first time since the 2010-2011 campaign. T.J. Williams, soft jog around the right wing, matched up with Trey Bell Haynes. Ball screen left from Miller. Urquhart rolls back towards the key. Around the perimeter, Huskies with possession. Miller, top of the key, the 6'10 forward. Tallest player on the floor currently. Good defense from the Cats. Nine on the shot clock. Begley throws to Murphy. Williams left wing. Crossover dribble. Back pedals. Two on the shot clock. Williams has to hurry, goes up, and just gets it to tickle through. TJ Williams, the team's leading scorer. It's just a six-point lead for the Cats, 39-33. Two horses from uh, Northeastern are being what they're supposed to be. They're riding them so far to just a six-point deficit. 13-17 to go in the game. Bell Haynes left wing with nine points in this game. Bounce feet, good pass to Urquhart. Reverse layup is true. Again, Trey Bell Haynes. What a clutch player he is. And Urquhart has gotten better and better all the time. Dropping dimes for days in this game so far. That's his third assist to kick ball on the other end. It'll go out of bounds and stay with Northeastern. Bell Haynes averaging a little over three assists per game for the junior guard from Toronto. But he certainly could have had a couple more. We missed a few inside shots that. Bagley left wing off the inbounds pass guarded by Ernie Duncan. Bagley crossover dribble on Duncan layup. Swatted away by Steinl. Got his paw up in the air for the rejection ball on the deck. Fighting for it in the jump ball, possession arrow. Here's the other way. Vermont with the ball. A 41-33 lead for the Cats, 12-47 left. Scrappy defense there, and they're gonna have to play scrappy defense because these kids can score the ball from Northeastern. So they're gonna have to be tough physically on the defensive end. We are. Vermont coming into this game, holding their opponents to 63.7 points per game. Best in the America East. Steinle, layup is good from the left block. Beautiful move. Hard drive to the basket, reverse layup, big play, back up 10. Catamounts 43 33 lead and a kicked ball on the other end. Vermont 
being led by Kurt Steidel, a candidate for a Morgan Stanley player of the game, with 11 points to lead the Cats. That was a big time basket right there. And it's, it's 10, but it doesn't seem like that many to me, does it to you? Maybe they just seem like, <laughs> <laughs> you always have to worry no matter how many points you're down in that regard. Northeastern with the ball, Begley left wing, guarded by Anthony Lamb, the freshman. See, mismatch with Murphy. Can they find it? Free throw line for Golden Brace. With three on the shot clock, a three from the left wing doesn't go from Begley, a rebound for Vermont. Tremendous defense by the Cats. Forced that long three after real tough 30 seconds of defense. And the Huskies in this game struggling from distance. Two of 12. Lamb was whistled. And a timeout taken. Do. Member FDIC, Northeastern ball out of the media timeout, 43-33. Vermont leads, 11.44 to go in the game. TJ Williams, top of the circle, averaging 22.4 points per game, coming in 14th best in the country. In seven of his nine games this year, he's gotten to 20 points. Feed down low to Murphy, he lays it in with a right hand. Lamb got caught on the screen and never had a chance, and uh, easy play for Murphy. 43-35, Vermont still with the lead, but just an eight-point advantage. It's gotten to as many as 12. That's all we that's the highest lead we have, 12. Trey Bell Haynes, top of the key, recently. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Bell Haynes, bounce feed, free throw line jumper from Lamb, swirls down. And a 10-point lead for Vermont. 45-35, Cats lead. Approaching the midway point in the second frame. Got a matchup problem again down low. Ernie Duncan and Jeremy Miller. 6'10", Miller. And Ernie Duncan just 6'3". If that layup good underneath from Northeastern's Devon Begley. That's his first field goal, and it's 45-37. The lead cut down to eight again. 10.26 to go in the game. Bell Haynes double teamed, backpedaling, walking the tightrope, and he's pushed on the near side. And a foul goes against T.J. Williams, his third. He did get fouled, but he also got bailed out. He was in a tough spot there, uh, looking for help, and, uh, and Williams pushed him and uh, gave us a break. And mentioned earlier, it's gotten to 12 recently, 13. That's right, largest half, lead right? Again. We were big at the half, we 13 at the half. 45 37, Vermont leads 10 17 to go in the game. Bell Haynes, left wing, ball screen top of the key. Henson slashes down the right alley, shot rejected away by Miller. Out of bounds, last touched by Vermont. And Coach Becker a little confused after that call. So it's Northeastern ball. A team that was picked to finish seventh in the Colonial Athletic Association. Graduated three players last year that averaged 10 points or more. Midway point of the second half, 45-37, Vermont leads. Catamounts have won six of the last eight meetings between these two teams. Miller throws top of the key, Begley, 10 on the shot clock. Again, the defense from the Cats. Williams splits between two defenders. Out to Brace, three on the shot clock. Williams dashes down the lane, and a shot clock violation. One of the best things you can have on a defensive sequence, Coach. Shot clock violation forced right there. Other than the steal, right? Other than the steal. Uh, really, I mean, that, that was tremendous. And uh, I don't know how much that was us and how much it was them. You know, they made a couple passes that somebody should have shot the ball in between there before the clock went off. But still, you're right. It's nothing better than... Uh, making sure you, uh, you shut them down. Makes them think, too. Urquhart, left elbow, matched up with Jeremy Miller. Urquhart stands at just 6'8", Miller 6'10". Bell Haynes lost possession, traveled the ball as well. And that's a turnover, so it's Huskies basketball, 45-37, Cats lead, 9.20 to go in the game. Two turnovers in a row for number two. Can't, that's uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of his little Achilles heels. Because it does so much, and when you have the ball that much, then you, you can get in trouble at times, too. Vermont just four turnovers in the first half. They have four already in the second frame. Still only eight total for the game. Brace, fadeaway free throw line, Jay, splash. 
Bold embrace, yeah, that was a very difficult shot. Contested, a six point lead for Vermont, 45-39, less than nine to play in the game. Huskies fighting, not going away. Kicked ball, rolling out of bounds. It'll stay with Vermont. Momentum certainly uh, seems to be on Northeastern side, and yet we're still ahead. We're up six and got the ball, but uh, but Northeastern's just playing much better this half than they did in the first. And that 13 point cushion at halftime, very critical. Yeah, yeah, very critical. You are right, my friend. Bell Haynes down the lane, reverse layup is balled away. Got all ball by Jeremy Miller. He's been hard. You, you let him go for a second, and he's by you, and uh, toward, toward the rim is Trey Bell Haynes. Seven rebounds for Miller, the sophomore from Milton, Massachusetts. Henson off a curl, jump shot far side, air ball. Rebound, the bold embrace for Northeastern. 45-39, Vermont with the advantage. Looking to get to eight and three on the season for the first time since the 2010-2011 campaign. T.J. Williams shuffles his feet, top of the circle, guarded by Trey Bell Haynes. Bounce pass gets slipped away and picked up by Steidel. Great D, Urquhart, wonderful D in the post. And just like Josh Hurley, he gave great minutes in the first half. Drew Urquhart is providing good minutes off the bench in the second. He's got the ball top of the key. Urquhart hands off Bell Haynes with contact. Gets the pass off to Urquhart in the post right block. Goes up on Miller, connects, but a travel call. None of us are hoping for it, but if it gets to that, I think we'll be okay. And uh, hopefully uh, their trend will continue that they lose close ones and ours will that we win them. Darren oh, Payne. Away from that. <laughs> Darren Payne brushes off the cobwebs into the game for the first time in the second half. 7.49 to go in the second. 45-39, Cats lead. Northeastern with possession. Bagley left wing. Guarded by Peyton Henson. The Huskies. Shooting 47% in this game. Big Vermont just 43. Cam Ward in the painted area, and Bankley will win that every time. Just over Cam Ward, who stands at 6-1-6-2, approximately. And Bankley's second field goal. It's just a four-point lead for Vermont, 45-41. Ward, wraparound bounce pass, Henson far baseline. Matches up with Murphy. Henson spins, goes up, and his whistle, a foul. Goes against Alex Murphy. He'll pick up his second. And Peyton Henson will go to the free throw line. Good, good aggressive move by Peyton that time. You know, we got to get something close to the back. We need to score. Uh, and I think him getting the ball and going strong, and making Murphy foul him, uh, that's a good thing. And then it lips out, and here we go again. Vermont from the free throw line in this game, four of seven, make it four of eight after that free throw attempt from Henson, the redshirt junior from Asylum Springs, Arkansas, had his first career double-double. Last time out against Dartmouth, 16 points, 10 rebounds, but coach, free throws are big, and he goes 0 for 2 there. 45-41, Vermont with the lead still, a four-point lead coming up on seven minutes left. Brace, left wing, matched up with Darren Payne. Lob feed down low, Miller wins the battle over Steidel. That's 6'10 Miller on 6'6 Steidel. And the lead dice to just two, 45-43, 6.48 to go. Murphy to Miller, high low, basic basketball. Payne flips it to Steidel left wing. With 11 points in this game. His three threes came very much early in the contest. Wide open, Darren Payne, a slam jam. Beautiful look by Henson. Big basket for the Cats. Darren Payne able to give the Cats a four-point lead. Here's a turnover created on the other end. Vermont in transition. Ward throws to Henson. Almost ran right into a three-point attempt. Head fakes instead. Henson top of the key. Triple threat position. Ball above his head. Throws left wing. Steidel. 47-43. Vermont leads. Steidel a three from the corner. Front rims it. Payne tips it out trying to save it. But the Huskies corral it. Great effort by Payne. Almost got it back. 47-43, Vermont leads 5.55 to go in the game. A whistle on the floor and a loose ball foul. It goes against Cam Ward, his second. Trey Bell Haynes and Anthony Lamb will come back into the game. And my guess is for the last six minutes, I'm sure that those two guys will be there for the most part. But the craziest thing right now, Coach T.J. Williams still hasn't gotten to the free throw line, and he leads the nation in free throws attempted. 
Kent's doing a great job on the defensive end. That's yeah, the credit. No doubt, no doubt. Four point lead for Vermont, 47-43, 5.45 to go in the game. Brace, top of the key. Shovels a fast left wing. Double team Lamb and Bell hands on Williams, but an open Brace who knocks down a triple from the far baseline. Bolden Brace, who comes in only averaging more than two points a game, has five points, and the lead is just one for Vermont. 47-46, 5.20 to go. Lamb from the corner, a three ball, in and out. Rebound Jeremy Miller, close. If you're Vermont now, what needs to be fixed? It's been a struggle recently. Well, offensively, we just need to make some shots, and we, we, you know, and, and we have not been able to stop them. Uh, you know, they've already scored at least, uh, what, 21, maybe more than that this half, and, uh, you know, they're a very good offensive team. Anthony Lamb just picked up his fourth personal foul. So Peyton Henson will return. 47-46 Vermont leads. The Catamounts have played in four games this season, decided by four points or less. They're three and one in that sequence. Murphy spins at the free throw line, goes up with contact, doesn't go, gets the offensive rebound, shoots it up and in, and the foul. Alex Murphy is having a game. Closing in on his career high, which is 24. He's got 19 points now and a chance to get to 20. Just effort on his part, and he was lucky because the boy missed the shot and, or got it tipped, and it fell right back into his hands, and then he got it, and he got a foul. So, so obviously now we'll see what the cat. Five minutes to go. We're going to have a two-point game, and uh, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it any time. Northeastern 49, Vermont 40. But you know what? The other guys do too. The guys you're playing against, they kind of <laughs> like it as well. So, But we'll see now. Good spot, good spot. Tough, toughness. Take care of the ball. We are back underway. Henson rises a three from the right wing. Back iron, ball out of bounds, but Steidel saves it. Airborne in the out of bounds territory near the baseline, and he leaps to throw it to Bill Haynes. Down the right alley, layup, blocked away, and a foul on the floor to boot. 4.41 to go in the game. Northeastern with its first lead, 49-47. Darren Payne picks up his first personal. And, and the eighth, yep, the eighth team foul, so a one and one try for Jeremy Miller, 6'10", 230-pound sophomore from Milton, Mass. He is a 68% free throw shooter on this season, is Jeremy Miller. You want to be ready to rebound here under any circumstances. If he happens to miss, can't give him another chance. Peyton Henson on the low block. We're going to box out. Missed on the first attempt of the one and one. Good job. And Vermont with possession. Steidel, good box out. Cats work from right to left. Down by two with 4.32 to go in the game. 49 47. Duncan motors down the left alley. Layup. Tips off the cylinder. He wants an, a goaltending call. Thought it was down in the cylinder. You know, add to the problem. Right. right. So a free throw attempt for Devon Begley. A one and one try, and he sinks the first. Devon Begley, a 63% free throw shooter this season from Pierland, Texas, a suburb of Houston. 50-47 lead for the Huskies. 51-47 lead, 4.24 to go in the game. All right, plenty of time, just keep your poise. Run your stuff, get to a chance where you get a good look, and go from there. Vermont led by as many as 13. That was the halftime lead. But the Huskies over the last two minutes have held serve. 51-47, Henson, right block, backing down Murphy. Henson goes up, rejected by Murphy. What a play by the graduate student. And the Huskies with possession. Less than four to play, 51-47. Vermont trails by four. Williams, top of the key, throws to Murphy at the top. Guarded by Peyton Henson. Williams, right wing, 10 to shoot for Northeastern. Good defense from the Cats so far. Begley, free throw line, crossover on Henson. Lefty floater doesn't go. Urquhart snatches the rebound as Henson hit the deck as well. Cats down by four, Steidel. Right wing with 11 points, a candidate for a Morgan Stanley player of the game. Duncan 
Right wing, crosses over on Begley. Leap throw pass in the corner. Henson, a three ball. Front rim, tipped out. Duncan corrals the offensive rebound. That's huge. Can't buy one. Can't buy one right now. But again, we're down four. No problem. Just get a good look. There we go. Bell Haynes, jump throw. Steidel left wing. Euro step. Left block. His pass deflected away. Brace with the basketball for Northeastern. Fans want to carry for some sort of travel and nothing called. 2.49 to go in the game, 51-47. Vermont trails Northeastern. The Huskies have led for the last two plus minutes. Brace, nine on the shot clock. Williams, ISO against Duncan. He shoots from three right wing and hits. TJ Williams gives Northeastern a 54-47 lead with 2.25 to go. Bell Haynes, right wing, top of the key. Drives down the left alley, dumps it off Urquhart, layup doesn't go, tip in from Henson Dunks. It's a big bucket, exactly. and it's down to just five. 2.08 to go in this game, 54-49 Northeastern leads. Need a big stop, big stop. Two minutes exactly remaining. Miller guarded by Urquhart, looking for a backdoor feed to Williams, who has it left wing. Curls around on Urquhart, gets him separation and connects. T.J. Williams is starting to heat up. He's got 17 points, averages 22. 56 to 49, Bell Haynes trains a three from straight away. Great big basket. Come back with the, uh, you know, down, down four with a minute to go. Uh, no problem, we can handle that. Can't let him score here, it'd be very difficult to make that up. Full court press from Vermont. Duncan pressuring Devon Begley around midcourt. A buck 30 left, 56-52. Huskies lead the Catamounts. And it's been Northeastern stars, Williams and Murphy. Williams with 17, Murphy with 20. And we've got a bad matchup again. Now Williams is on his own. Williams drives down the right alley. Pass out to Begley, left wing, unleashes a three ball. Front run, Steidel soars and rips down the board. Big rebound for the Cats. A minute and four seconds left. 56-52 Vermont trails. Bell Haynes dumps it off. Henson right block right up. It's good off the window. And the lead is just two for the Huskies. Vermont going touch for punch. Very gutty. Very gutty. A chess match here at Patrick Chambers. Bell Haynes, the emotion. Hit the double figure mark. 49.4 seconds left in the game. Can Cats I, trail by two. Can I count on that? <laughs> it's a good sign. Bill Haynes spins. Four oh, 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 Haynes is having a night. We are deadlocked at 56. 35 seconds left. At a 10 second differential shot clock game clock. The fans are up on their feet of Patrick. Murphy left wing, free throw line, dumps down low. Miller layup, good. Northeastern by two, 58-56. 22 seconds left, shot clock turned off. 19 seconds left, Bell Haynes, motors down the left. Alley layup, goes in With 13 seconds left, Bell Haynes rips down the offensive rebound, goes up, and is fouled. With 11.3 seconds left. What a play! What Whoa. an effort. That is pure hustle and heart. The lab was halfway down. That should have been in. <laughs> and the kid just hangs out, does what he got to do. Tremendous, tremendous effort. What pivotal free throws these are with 11.3 seconds left. Trey Bell Haynes at the free throw line. He was 9 of 10 from the line against Dartmouth. And he shoots a couple here. Jim absolutely silent, and Bell Haynes misses the front end. 58-56, Vermont down by two, but still plenty of time left. If you make this, an opportunity to foul. Absolutely, yep. good shape, certainly from where we were. And 11.3 seconds left in this game. Vermont trying to remain perfect at home this season. Bell Haynes sinks the second free throw. And it's a one point lead for left. Alex Murphy 
is the worst free throw shooter on the floor for Northeastern, but he inbounds the bubble. Haynes right block right is rejected. 6.8 seconds left. And oh, oh my goodness. Wow. A steal in the corner. Bell Haynes frustrated. Oh, great play by Murphy. Made a great block. I thought Trey was going to get in there, and uh, but Murphy came out of nowhere and blocked it. But he's the shooter. He's 55%. So I think he's the shooter. Yes, he is. It's okay. huge. Alex Murphy at the free throw line, a 55% free throw shooter, coach. Does get two. The 6'8 graduate student misses. Not even close. <laughs> a couple of bricks. Now, we have no timeouts, so either way, we just got to take it and go. 58-57. Vermont down by a point, 5.6 seconds left. Alex Murphy at the line, the second of two upcoming. He hits the second. It's a two-point game and a timeout Northeastern. And that's still. So Duncan to inbound. Trey Bell Haynes, Peyton Henson. Looking to get the inbounds pass. 5.6 seconds left. Four seconds left. Duncan across the timeline. Lost it. One second left. The heat from Ernie Duncan. Elbow. And that's the end of the game.